Stand by and record. There we go. Well, Mr. Cameron, uh, it's nearly the summer holidays. Where are you off to this year? I thought I might nip down to Tuscany. I believe Turney has um, rather nice facilities down there, and we've got so much in common these days. Well, Tony, are you quite happy to have Mr. Cameron come and stay? But well, he might drink all your wine. Oh, it's all right. I got that for nothing as well. So that's quite okay. You don't mind, you know? mind you. But, uh, but Dave's actually a beer drinker, did you know? Beer? Uh, oh, oh, oh. Beer and pasties. Beer and pasties. Beer and pasties, yes, yes. I'm, sh I'm, I'm quite sure. I mean, we'll get sherry to get it from somewhere along. You know, don't yeah. mind a drop of sherry either. And when, so you went to see uh, her, her Majesty? Well, actually, she came to us. She came what? to Downing Street. That was very generous of her. Um, yes, well, Jubilee and all that, and uh, nice, nice photo opportunity for the boys. Which boys? Well, it was all the... Um, well, Mr. Major was there, I believe, as well. Oh, yes, all the Compass Mentis PMs that have served the Queen. And GB was there himself? The man who would be king. Who's the man who would be king? GB, right. Great Britain. That's a good name. Gordon Brown. Do you think uh, it was his father named him GB for that reason? I rather think his father probably took direct instruction from God. Ah, right, I forgot about that part. Mm, the good bastard, yes. Direct instructions from God? Oh, definitely. Yeah. I mean, do you not see that? That man is beamed right up there to Scotty. Absolutely no doubt about it. Which one of you is running for the, the Team GB in the 100 metres? Oh, I think we'll let um, George Osborne do that for us, and he seems to be well on the run at the moment. He does. Ah, ah, ah. He, oh, he does seem to be a. Having a sticky time. Well, he's um, he's rather miscalculated. Rather miscalculated. Well, actually, I think it's this lot, you know, because he is a bit of a noink, you know. New money, you know, wallpaper, all that kind of thing. You know, not really, really, really one of them. I think they're just letting him hang himself, Mr Gideon, isn't it? Yes. And um, what about, uh, did you guys get to do a bit of arm wrestling when the Queen was there? Does she have, how she like, rather likes a bit of wrestling. Oh no, it, it was all very nice. I mean, uh, Gordon was the outsider, of course. Um, with nobody, his... nobody knew what he was saying, I suppose, really. He'd been a fifer. Well, it, it was a bit broad. And I mean, he is Scottish. Not like Tony. <laughs> he really is Scottish. And not like your grandfather, either. I was born uh, in well, Glasgow. I David? Was I was born in Glasgow. My grandfather wasn't really Scottish. He was, was he not really? He was really an empire child. Okay. Right. Okay, but... Uh, What's the matter with being Scottish? Why is everybody denying their Scottish roots? Oh, they're just such a pain. Are you ashamed of them? Well, I wouldn't say ashamed exactly, but we do need their oil. Well, um, until it runs out, of and course, and then they can bugger off. <laughs> and if they swan off... Oh, by the way, Tony, good move moving the boundary in the North Sea. Well, that was a cunning move, Tony. Mm, well, it's still a straight line. Well, it's a straight line going directly north. But it's, it made a big difference, of course, to your uh, constituents in those days. Sedgefield, isn't that quite close to the Scottish border? Yes, but then I mean, an awful lot of uh, an awful lot of people down south are descended from um, from the Vikings, and they're up north, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much, gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed your lunch. You're welcome. Good. And it's free.